in your house and break ground for a new building. We focus especially on remembering the all that you have done for us. We thank you for your faithfulness in providing spiritual leaders and a whole body of Christ with each member using whether gift or whatever gift that you have given to us and to serve you we ask you to accept these monetary gifts as an offering of worship and love, reaching out to others as you have given to each of us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. The scripture reading, we have two of them. I will be reading. The first one is from Psalms 127, verse 1. And the second reading will be from Matthew 7, 24. Psalm 127, 1. A psalm for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. A psalm of Solomon. Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guarding it with centuries will do no good. Matthew 7, 24. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came. And the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them, will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. And the rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. This ends the reading of the Lord.
Um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, Gary has been writing songs left and right. Um, there's one thing that I really took away from Daniel's series and Esther, and that is there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. Um, and I had in my head this idea, like, over and over and over again, like, we need a song called Firm Foundation. But nothing else is coming. Okay, okay. So, a couple weeks ago, I told Gary, Gary, we need a song called Firm Foundation. I think I'm supposed to tell you. <laughs> Not kidding, this is the conversation. Well, we don't. I said, no, I'm telling you, I think I'm supposed to tell you this. And then the sermon that day had something to do with listening to God's call and talking to the people that are around you and hearing this. So I'm sitting in the back, and Gary is just, God took it and ran with it through him. Um, and he's like writing. That afternoon, he sent me an email. So I have a scripture verse for you. This is from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. And it says, Wearing a linen ephod, David was dancing before the Lord with all his might, while he and all Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sounds of trumpets. I think if he'd had guitars, that would have happened too. And that's how I feel. This, this is really exciting. This whole process is really exciting. Uh, I, I'm going to dance around a little bit, but I promise I'll keep my clothes on. I won't explain it. <laughs> You too, Bill. <laughs> I wrote this song, Firm Foundation, and uh, I don't know, Daniel said a few things that just really hit home, and uh, this this isn't about bricks and mortar, it's about our firm foundation right here. He's given us a firm foundation. God has given us a firm. 
This one you should know. Feel free to sing along as you're waiting. 